Anyways, let's go to the trailer. Let's see what uh, Fakunla can do. Beautiful new stage. Looks eerily similar to the Forgotten Realm. Oh my goodness, my boy Armor King just can't catch a break. He punched the original and the brother. Oh boy. Look at um uh Gaia from Baki. Got the military goons. Or Captain uh, Sawada from Street Fighter. <laughs> oh boy, enter Potemkin. <laughs> Some of you guys don't know who that is. It's a Guilty Gear character. Look him up. I must break these cuffs. Man, those are some really strong restraints. All right, let's shut up and watch the trailer. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh boy, he's not tall. Okay, yeah, I, I know, I know, I know. Okay, let's watch the trailer. <laughs> Oh man, you're gonna get it. <laughs> uh oh. Broken alert. I will crush you! I hope that's the music for the stage, by the way. <laughs> All right, all right. Let's pause it right there. So as soon as I saw him, you know, I was thinking that it was like a roided up Bruce Irving, you know. I thought Bruce was coming back, but, you know, even once, you know, they just showed his chin when he was walking out of those uh, restraints, um, I still thought it was Bruce until, uh, you know, I saw that it wasn't. But, like, look at the outfit that's on the screen eerily similar to the outfit Bruce had in Tekken 5 as his special outfit where he was like extra ripped he was more ripped than normal you know he had the the the, the bands everywhere he, he was just cool looking for once <laughs> but here this guy here Fakumla coming like right out the gate already roided up already with with the with the cool outfit you know all the tattoos yeah that is um that is great excellent excellent really cool looking character in my opinion cool and appealing more so than bruce ever was in my opinion that's just me i don't know if you guys agree with me but let me know in the comments you know let me know in the comments if you guys think Fakum lies cooler and more appealing than Bruce L. Irving. 
I'm about to say uh, Bruce Elving. <laughs> yeah, Bruce Irving. What do you guys think? Um, but anyways, let's take a look at this again to see like what this guy is capable of. Besides, uh, oh God, look at this here. Hold on, let me, um, <laughs> where's that part? Yeah, right here where he's, okay, so obviously a lot of people are upset that he's towering over Marduk right here, but once they switch to the gameplay, he's super short. Let me, yeah, let's see, right, see if I can pause it or get it to that point. Yeah, so right now he's <laughs> visibly shorter, but obviously, you know, that's just an artistic route that the developers took to show how powerful he is. That's like an intimidation factor. You guys have seen it. If any of you guys watch any anime out there, any especially shonen animes, they definitely show like really powerful characters as being larger, a lot larger than what they are especially to like weaker characters they appear to be so you know huge or so intimidating that they can't even breathe or they can't even stand up straight so i think marduk right there was you know intimidated once he finally you know got close enough to him he looked super super tall oh yeah he's a monster but as you can see, if you even look at Craig's eyes, Craig sees him for the size that he really is. Like when he's doing elbow, he's not looking up anymore. He's looking straight across. So he's like, he's a regular man. I can attack him, you know. That first encounter was just um, too much for him, I guess. This is not the dude that he fought in his Tekken 4 ending. <laughs> but anyways, let's look at the moves. Let's look at the moves. So that looks like a a 3-4 string. Mid-mid. And this is some sort of power kick with its own sound effect. Really cool hit effect too, like a slash. Knocked him right out of a power crush. I think Craig tried to do a power crush right there. But um he's got a straight punch. He did it again later on in the trailer. Yeah, this is just um showboating here. I know he doesn't have a stance where he just absorbs hits. Alright, that that right there looks like a um natural combo launcher. Might be down forward two three or something. With a good easy tail spin combination. What's that from probably forward three four? Okay, strings and good strings. Single kick wall stick. Alright, that there looked like an easy what's that? One two one four. One two one four. You know Bruce had a one two one two. So yeah, nice variation of an old string. Um, let's see what happens to Ling. Really, really strong low kick. Hey, if a low attack has a hit spark on it, then it's definitely gonna be super strong. At least 20 damage. Pow! All right. So he has a string into a move that he can charge, it looks like. Yeah, so it looks like um, instead of MTS stance, whatever his spin is, it looks like he has moves that come out of his spin. I've seen quite a few moves already in this trailer, you know. Where he does a spin and might, you know, fake out another move and another move comes out. But, yeah, it looks like he has good mix-up potential. 
That was an obvious guard breaker. Oh, now this here, yeah, when I first saw it, I'm like, uh oh. This might be a little strong here. A power crush that launches. Look at Leo. Ah, crumple stun. Whatever that stun is called, but he's gonna obviously be able to pick up after that. I wonder if it's high. It looks high, yeah. It's a high power crust that launches, so that's that's pretty good. Alright, what happened to Eddie? So that's that's his tailspin kick that he just hit Eddie with. And another spin into a move, so obviously a stance. Wow, this elbow look at the elbow that he does right at the end. That elbow right there is uh Sagat's mid, his overhead from Street Fighter 4. You guys remember that? I don't know if a lot of you guys played Street Fighter 4, but Sagat had a overhead and it was that it was that elbow right there. And it looks like that might be a counter hit launcher too. If he can if he has like a down three four pickup like Josie or Bruce, then that's that's a launching animation. All right, so what did he just do to Lee? A backhand with a spinning elbow into a low. Doesn't look like a natural combo. Okay. Yeah, that's the straight again. That might be... That might be a wall bounce. I don't know. Okay, now this is what I hope to be a returning chain grab that Bruce used to have where he could um, crouch dash into um, one plus four, I believe, or clinch stance. He knees you like four or five times in a row. Or he could just toss you away. That's that's a grab that Bruce had as one of his uh, chain throw extensions where he knees you one time and just throws you away like trash okay so this here this is what gets really interesting you see that he has scars all over him and they light up with whatever like I don't know what this is but if you guys watch Baki the grappler or King and Ostara that is the equivalent of the demon back that's the equivalent of advance that's the equivalent of sagat you know holding his scar and it lighting up and he gets a power increase so that is obviously a rip off of those animes in, in street fighter but i wonder what type of buffs he gets from that stance Let's see, the first move he does after powering up is Tiger Knee. And it launches. But I have a reason to believe that that is um, his regular hop kick. Probably up forward three. Yeah, that's probably just up forward three. Yes, yeah, the new stage has a floor break. I'm glad as a king main. And that's the end of his rage art. Yeah, this guy is ripped, but um, no telling. But you see, like, whatever that spin stance is, he can fake and cancel. So it's like a replacement for um, Bruce's uh, MTS stance, which was, you know, Muay Thai stance. He has a mid knee. We don't know the properties on anything. But let's see one more time. His combos look pretty easy though. Everything just flows together pretty seamlessly with the stances. Good wall carry. You know, if he needs a floor break, the move he just did was good. He looks good, but 
we just can't pull the trigger on like you know oh he's gonna be op he's gonna be s tier or something like that i can't say the same thing for him like i said you know for leroy and ganryu because this guy isn't you know anywhere near like complete yet he's not complete and we don't get him until as you can see here spring next year so i don't know i don't know what do you guys think you think he's gonna be mid-tier at best you think he's gonna be op many things can change between now and spring you know when he finally shows up because i'm sure we're gonna get some more you know trailers more like betas or whatever beta testing at upcoming events so he's gonna be totally different from what we saw in this trailer at least that's what i'm thinking and we don't even know like what's going to happen on the 18th with the uh, big balance change, you know, for everyone. But the Power Crush launcher is, yeah, that's, that was an attention grabber for me. I don't know about you guys, but having a Power Crush, you know, that doesn't need to come out of any stance. You just do it and it launches. That is godlike. You know, no one else has that high or not that's that's just great yeah yeah um yeah dr jabri yeah he does have a lot of stance councils so that's that's pretty cool to see you can never have too many stances so yeah fakumla it's very nice to say the least i'm i'm happy for him you know he's not a wasted new character you know a lot of people want to complain about bruce not coming back but if we're gonna have a Thai character you know bruce isn't from thailand obviously he's american you know and what other fighting style from Thailand can you think of? Like right off the top of your head. You aren't going to be able to think of one. It's Muay Thai. So. Let the Thai character have Muay Thai. And that's why Bruce isn't back. If you guys have gripes. Complain about Josie's creation. You know. But this guy here. He's good. He's good with me. But anyway, um, yeah, Poke Chop has another character, probably two new characters. I don't know if he likes Leroy like that, but I think, yeah, Poke Chop is going to take a liking to this and probably, uh, what was that guy? Blackbeard. He's probably going to take a liking. Um, Secret, Kagemaru, um, quite a few of the Josie mains. Yeah. This guy here, Fakum La, is, yeah, he's definitely going to be... The, the Bruce replacement and probably be better than Bruce ever was. We'll see. Didn't see anything the equivalent of a back two, but <laughs> but we'll see. We'll see. I'm hyped. I can't wait to use him myself, you know, because I, you know, I see he's obviously taken from Baki and, and Kingan. Like everything about him, you know, being a prisoner. You guys remember the prisoner arc and um, Baki? Yeah, this guy's locked up and they release him to fight. Kind of like Unchained. Um, Biscuit Oliva or whatever his name is. And um, yeah, he has the advance that that both Baki and um, um, Oma possess. So I think, yeah, he's like a perfect Baki the Grappler character being made into a Tekken character. So, yeah, I'm, I'm glad. Yeah, he's like a spec... And Jack Hanma, like, combined. Spec Hanma. That's what we've been calling him in the uh, Discord. <laughs> he is Spec Hanma. He's going to have, the, he's going to be the character with many nicknames, as you guys can already see. It's like, with a name like that, we're going to be able to call him anything. Heck, he's like Jake from um, Urban Range or something. He, he can be anything. But anyways, um... I think he's, you know, pretty, pretty good, pretty unique as far as like the design and him having a power up that's not devil form or anything like that. 
and his story, I think he's unique enough to be a replacement for Bruce. You know, because I didn't see too many moves that he shared with Bruce at all. He's more like Sagat. <laughs> more like Sagat. But anyways, um, that wraps up the character reveals or whatever. I'm loving the new stage. I'm loving the new music. I really hope that the song they played for um, for Falcon Lies, the stage music, you know, or something we can, you know, use in jukebox and put on another stage. That's going to go on Forgotten Realm like instantly. <laughs> we'll have two of those songs. But anyways, um, hyped is an understatement that I am hype, hype, hype for this. You know, can't wait. I cannot wait. I really can't. Like, you just don't know. And it's just in two days, guys, to get Leroy and Gary. I'm going to have a really long stream. <laughs> Really, really long stream um, Tuesday. I hope they don't like, you know, mess us up and, and release them super late in the day and everything like that. I want them to be out as soon as Tuesday is here. As soon as it's here. I want to wake up and Tekken is already updated. I just turn it on and there is Leroy and Ganryu. I hope that's the case. Really. <laughs> Some of you guys don't like his design. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But yeah, Leroy, yeah, he's probably, like I said, the coolest new character ever. Ever. Only because Armor King and King were on Tekken 1. 